In October, just a short time ago, the UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in Iran, David Riemann, uh, raised an alarm about the, the concerning trend of arbitrary arrests, of detentions, executions, targeting individuals for merely ex exercising their freedom of expression, for speaking up, just for doing that. This disturbing pattern was further reviewed by the Office uh, of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, highlighting an increase in arbitrary detention, allegations of torture, and gender-based violence. These violations uh, of basic human rights are not isolated incidents. These are not happen. They're happening consistently and, cont and continuously. In November, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres reported a shocking, shocking 30% increase in executions in Iran compared to the previous year. Many linked to nationwide protests. Over 100 executions uh, were reported in just the past month, including dozens of dissidents, Belushis, Arab and Kurdish minorities, as well as women. Despite all of these uh, uh, oppressions, the Iranian people's spirit remains on broken. And we're encouraged by that, and we want to encourage you as well. Protests continue across the country, from healthcare workers to retirees, to oil sector employees, signalling a growing discontent amongst the populace. Tehran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei and knows that without foreign meddling, his increasingly fragile and vulnerable regime cannot survive another uprising like those in 2022, 2019, 2018 and 2017. The Middle East is in turmoil, largely fueled by the warmongering dictatorship uh, ruling Iran. We must call, as we have in all MPs have done the same, for the prescription of the Revolutionary Guards, the IRGC, as a terrorist organisation, uh, and shut down the regime's embassies, expel its agents and its spies, support the Iranian people's struggle for freedom, for liberty, for true democracy. In conclusion, the path to peace and stability in the Middle East and beyond lies in confronting the clerical regime's belligerence head-on.